Metal Fume Fever. I thought I'd make a quick video because I'm hoping this is never going to happen to me again. Um, I've just woken up from about a day and a half recovering from it. I was working in the workshop and I was soldering some some uh, Kate like some wires onto my like servo motors and because um, it was because re- it's, it's winter it's really cold I had all the windows and doors closed because I because also I had the heating on in the garage um, so there was like zero ventilation and then like I, I Straight after like, the soldering, I'm working for a couple more hours, but then I'm feeling a bit tired, and I'm like, I'm trying to always listen to my body now. I'm like, okay, I'll go to sleep at mid, I'll go to sleep at midnight and not work into the morning because I usually work until like two, three, four, five a.m. in the garage because you know it's in my gar- it's in my garden. I do it, I do it around my own schedule, but that time I kind of felt a bit tired, so then I went to like the living room, and I was really this has never like, happened to me, like, and I just started feeling really cold, because usually I'll sleep in the living room, if I'm, if I'm a bit lazy, but I was, like, super cold, and my living room, there's, like, these leather, there are these leather, there's these leather, um, there are these leather kind of couches, so it's kind of cold, it kind of sucks the cold out of you, it's not really a warming place to sleep, so I was, like, so I come upstairs, and then I'm, I'm feeling, I'm almost, like, feeling like I've got the chills, and then, like, so I put a, I put a hoodie on. I put this this red hoodie on over my head, wrap up in it. I put, like, extra socks on. Like, I've not done this before, like, to this extent. And then I'm, like, I'm literally, like, shivering. And I'm, like, shivering to the point where I'm trying to warm myself up. Um, and I'm, like, and then, okay, and then the next thing I remember is... At night, um, I'm literally just having diarrhea. I've got, I've got Crohn's disease, so I thought it was to do with that. But I'm just having diarrhea every hour and a half. I'm having to, like, go to the toilet, and I'm having diarrhea. I've literally had to, like... I've literally had to throw a couple boxes, box of pants away, and a couple trou- I I've had a couple, like, trousers. I've had to, like go wash in the sink by hand, um, and then I'm like, and then I'm like, just reading shit, I'm just reading stuff the next day on the internet, and then it comes, that metal fume fever, uh, comes up as one thing, and I think it explains exactly what I was, um, what I was going through, I, I studied engineering, and I used to do the health and safety stuff, because I was a bit slow. People used to always give me the like the easy stuff to do, so the, um, the health and safety documents I used to do, and I really was really frustrated by that, because it's super boring, and it's just like, it's so mundane, and it's just it's health and safety, you know? But I've literally had to be in my bed for like an hour, a day and a half, like now, I want to get on my bed because I feel like if you're on your bed too long, you 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 lose strength really quickly. But I'm just going to read through it quickly. It says zinc oxide fumes cause a flu-like illness called metal fume fever. Symptoms include headache. Yeah, a headache. I didn't take any paracetamol because I'm not trying to take any medications. But the headache was intense. Fever, chills, muscle aches, thirst. Yeah, thirst, nausea. Yeah, that's the one. Vomiting. Not not for me. Chest soreness, no. Fatigue, yes. Gastrointestinal uh, pain, not so much, but I had so much diarrhea. Uh, Weakness and tiredness. The symptoms usually start several hours after exposure. The The attack may last from 6 to 24 hours. Complete recovery generally occurs without intervention within 24 to 48 hours. Metal fume fever is more likely to occur after a period away from job, after weekends or vacations. High levels of exposure may cause a metallic or sweet taste in the mouth, dry and irritated throat first, and coughing at the time of exposure. Several hours after exposure, a low-grade fever, seldom higher than 39 degrees, um, appears. Then comes sweating and chills. Yes, sweating, so much sweating. I am taking a shower now. And sh- then comes sweating and chills before temperature returns to normal in one to four hours. 
if you encounter these symptoms, contact the physician and have a medical examination. Uh, I wasn't. It, this all happened at about midnight, so it was obviously not very easy to do so. There is no information in the literature regarding the effects of long-term exposure to, to, zinc, to zinc oxide fumes. Symptoms, illness caused by inhalation of oxides of various metals, including zinc. Uh, soda also has tin and loads of other, like, other metals in low quantities. Signs, uh, leucocytosis, high white blood cell count is common, normal chest x-ray, onset, after exposure, blah, 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 uh, Okay, I think we got the idea. Um, good. Yeah. Um, didn't really eat anything yesterday. Wanted to have one day out because uh, I thought it was my Crohn's disease and I thought it would just be best not to eat anything. But this was just metal fume oxide poisoning. Uh, now I'm going to go back to my workshop. I'm going to have to like, open the windows and let it and let all the air ventilate for like a, like a couple hours, so it's just safe. I don't want I don't want this to happen again. It's really scary, actually. Um, really scary. I didn't even solder that much. I was like, there wasn't even that much. I only soldered like how many wires? Twelve wires. Twelve. You know, I've sold it much, much more before and been fine, or what I thought I've been, or whatever. Uh, I guess um, I'm going to be soldering. I've, I started welding outside uh, in the open air, uh, and I'm go I guess I'm going to be soldering in the open air now, from now on. Um, damn, this has really, really shocked me how, how, sh how easily this has happened and. Uh, I don't want anyone else at home to experience what I've experienced. So I guess I'm promoting health and safety. Uh, but it's just not worth it. I mean, it's just not worth it. I've literally just been so terrified. And I've all these negative thoughts gone through me. Where, you know, when you feel weak and helpless, you suddenly like are desperate. And I'm like, this is not worth it. Peace out, guys. Learn from my mistakes, but just don't be so stupid, really. See ya.